Hey everybody, and welcome to A Complete Denture Journey. This is one video of an instructional video set containing both clinical and laboratory instructional videos for the New York City College of Technology Department of Restorative Dentistry Complete Dentures 1 course. Video 1, Preliminary Evaluation and Impressions Appointment. My name is Oscar Galvis. Let's get started. The preliminary visit and the preliminary evaluation. During this visit, evaluation photos are taken. The patient presents himself in the mid-30s and unfortunately has lost his teeth at the young age of 26. The teeth that you see pictured here are dentures that were made for him over 10 years ago. With 10 years of wear on these dentures, they have worn down and completely discolored. You can even see the discoloration in additional acrylic where repairs have been made to this complete denture set. In this video, you can see what 10 years of wear does to a pair of traditional acrylic complete dentures. The teeth have worn themselves into one another. This is done through the centric occlusion effect of up and down and the lateral excursions of right to left. His chief complaints are the aesthetic of the denture and the fact that it is loose. However, he says that they are pretty comfortable. During the initial evaluation, we will also evaluate the patient's aesthetic value while the dentures are in place and while they're not. We take a look at the lip support and how the lip is supported with the current denture, and if this is something we need to address while fabricating the new one. Now that we have evaluated his complete dentures intraorally, it is time to take a look at what's underneath. Let's evaluate his edentulous anatomy and his oral health. Overall, to a dental technician, we are looking for his bone structures. If there are anatomical landmarks existent that will aid in the retention of the denture. In this case, he has retained bone pretty well. Once the clinician has given the green light to the fabrication of new complete dentures, the first step is preliminary impressions. To begin, a clinician or dentist will select the proper size stock tray for the preliminary impression. Now here's a clinical tip for any clinicians or dentists that may be watching. For patients with major gag reflexes, uh, topical anesthetic can be used on the palate and it can aid in reducing the gag reflex. Once the proper size stock tray has been selected, the clinician or dentist can mix their alginate impression material and then apply it to the stock tray. The alginate has to be the proper consistency or the impression may come out with voids or bubbles. Here is another clinical tip for patients with severe gag reflexes. Allow the patient to lean forward and this may also reduce the gag reflex. Once the proper setting time has been reached, the alginate impression can be removed from the patient's mouth and then evaluated. These same procedures are then performed and repeated on the mandibular arch. 